Ever seen Karen lose her mind during an arrest? Buckle up! This video shows three of the most extreme Karens freaking out in the most epic meltdowns you've ever witnessed. Don't miss the madness. Let's start with this Karen who goes full beast mode and kicks a cop. On January 21st, 2024, Akron police were called to a dispute involving an unwanted house guest who refused to leave despite multiple orders. The police repeatedly asked Karen to vacate the premises, but she refused. When the cops tried to escort her from the house, she went full Karen and kicked one of the officers in the family jewels. After confirming that this woman does not live there, the officers ask her to leave. However, this Karen provides a laundry list of reasons for staying, including needing medication, having PTSD, and being with a friend. She even admits to smoking medical marijuana. I smoked medical marijuana. I was a fucking, no, I'm being serious. I, was, I need you guys to, like, I'm having PTSD. I know, I'm telling my medicine is what I need. Clearly, she's full of excuses, but the cops aren't buying it. They insist she gets out. After repeated polite requests, the officers finally lost their patience and threatened to use force if Karen didn't leave. In true Karen fashion, she tried to stall by asking to gather her belongings and pointing out the presence of cameras. Ultimately, the police had no choice but to physically escort her out. This Karen then decided to go full beast mode. Ah! Ah! This could have ended as a simple dispute with her leaving quietly, but no. This Karen decided to kick a police officer and resist arrest. Stop! I can't! Jerry, stop! Jerry, stop! Jerry, stop! Now she's definitely facing charges for physical assault on an officer. Watch how this crazy arrest ends. I'm not kidding. This is not... Stop. I need to... I need to grab... Someone please... Please stop. Please stop. Oh! What? I can't roll out. Walk. This woman was charged with resisting arrest and assault on a police officer. Looks like kicking up a fuss wasn't the smartest move in her playbook. Now she's got a front row seat to the consequences. No, I'm gonna keep no, just... Clearly, this isn't the only time Karen went wild during an arrest. Brace yourself for the next case where a wild Karen freaks out and gets mouthy with the police. On December 18th, 2023, police responded to a report of a woman breaking into cars. Little did she expect, the car owners found her hiding in the back seat and promptly called the police. After finding the suspect hiding in a car, they tell her to come out, but she suddenly acts like she's in a spy movie, fearing for her safety. Then she starts calling the cops the bad guys. We know who the bad Let's guy go. is. Let's go. Come on. You're the Let's bad go. guy. Let's take the seat. You're the bad guy. I'm pinching you too. I get to see it all. Get on your belly. You're the bad guy. Get on your belly. You're the bad get guy. Get on your stomach. We know who the bad guy is. We know who the bad guy is. Yeah. We know who they are. They're right here. Yeah. Classic move. Break the law. Blame the heroes. The officers have to physically restrain her, but she's still going strong with the profanity and resistance. Not even four miles from Wait, here. Everyone female. When asked what drug she was on, she confidently answered, marijuana. Ma'am, what drugs are you on? Um, I am Mary Jane. You no surprises there. This Karen was then taken to the police station for further questioning. Clearly delirious or possibly under the influence, this Karen believes the officers are harassing her and part of a larger conspiracy. She resists their requests and stubbornly refuses to part with her belongings. And I'm only just getting this feeling back. You can take up. So yeah. now we know what we do when they're taking so Lisa, Lisa, the first thing. And it's called torso murders. So the first thing you're going to do torso murders. is take off this man's jacket hands, that you have on. And you take everything else. Piece by piece, as long as you have hope. The telltale heart. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. That's you guys. The telltale heart. To top it off, she accuses the officers of having stolen from her in the past. You have two Lisa, you have two while I was miscarrying. Lisa. That is you, all, all right. of you. I have nothing to do with that. No, you have everything Stop to do with talking. it. You're going to find talking. out how much you have, you have to do with it. You have two options. I know who you are. I'm saying. And that you means have, you're my friend. I'm saying. I am your friend. I know correct. who you are. That is correct. So, I am your friend. That means you're, you're pottering right now. So you have two options. One, you, you can know. give us your rings willingly, or I'm going to put you in handcuffs and take When this is over, 
After breaking into someone's car, now she's accusing the police of stealing her stuff? Talk about turning the tables. She's holding onto her stuff like it's buried treasure, accusing them of being master thieves on the side. Someone give her a reality check. Stat. This Karen is verbally aggressive and hostile towards the officers, ranting about societal problems and conspiracy theories. She refuses to cooperate and accuses them of being unhelpful. None of you are helpful. Do you have like a mental you health issue? You haven't been helpful you have, ever. Do you have a... You bury people. Are you on... You medication? bury you doctor? people, you so you're not helping. Let's start with what None we're you have been helping. Here. Not one of you. So a detective doesn't know anything more about mental health. Health. I know, I know. You. All while claiming to be both a president and a god. We're standing here because I'm your president and I'm your god and you've been praying to me. Lisa, That's why you need my essence. Lisa, do you want to take a seat? Talk about living in a fantasy world. Based on her behavior, she was charged with disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, making false statements, and possibly even assault or harassment, depending on the severity of her actions towards the officers. Now move to the last case where this entitled Karen wakes up the entire hotel and ends up getting herself arrested. On May 17th, 2024, police in Ohio found themselves responding once again to repeated calls regarding noise disturbances from the same hotel room. This persistent issue had already caused disruptions the previous night, prompting continued complaints from frustrated guests and necessitating police intervention. As the officers approached the door, the suspect appeared uncertain and first insisted they needed a lighter for a cigarette because they had just woken up and couldn't locate one. I was sleeping, I will bring you later. The officers, having already dealt with noise complaints over two consecutive days, gently escorted the suspect outside, advising them to arrange for someone to assist them. Eventually, the suspect relented, mentioning they were leaving soon and emphasizing they simply needed a lighter. Walk me down the stairs. Thank you, Theodore. Thank you. I will. Really I will. I will. I while they were leaving, another officer asked the staff for more information. Everyone is complaining. Uh, last time also. Officers... Did you want? Did you say you want them out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Remember, Tony? Yeah, because the officer. Yeah, he's leaving because of them. So, all right. Yeah, we'll do that. The suspect claimed she had been quietly sleeping, and asked her boyfriend to leave so she could rest. I was being quiet, sleeping. Can he leave so I can at least? Well, he's my drunk. Rest? He's, he's intoxicated. The officers noted his intoxication and questioned who had brought her to the hotel. We well, dropped you off here yesterday. Despite her emotional statements about family issues and divorce, she eventually revealed it was the police. Um, I literally had an incident with my parents. I'm divorced. Okay, that's not what I asked you. Who dropped you off at this hotel? The police! Okay. Amidst arguments and pleas for her parents to pick her up, the officers emphasized she needed to sober up and find a way to leave. How are you, where are you going to get your stuff and where are you going to go? I'm calling my parents and he is obviously not in my life anymore. They urged practicality as they dealt with the disturbance caused, highlighting the need for a resolution that didn't involve further disruption. You're yelling. I literally need to sleep. Okay, well then you want to go back to the jail, you can sleep in our jail cell. How about that? Would you I like to know, do that? Chad, what do you think about that? No, do you want to walk on me? I'm going to walk. Where are you guys walking to? You're not leaving right now. Where, where are you walking to? I don't know. Um, I literally am in this jail. For a sober ride? The arguing seems to be endless. The suspect became increasingly agitated arguing with her boyfriend and insisting on retrieving her belongings. And obviously, Why don't you go I have up? never talked Stop. to him again. Stop. Can you go in the room again? Despite repeated warnings and explanations from the officers about the disturbance caused, she continued to plead and express frustration. No one. Um, That's not our issue. with money. That's not our issue. You caused a huge disturbance that we were here for two hours mm -hmm. dealing with you yesterday. Then we were here two hours ago at two o'clock, and now we're here back at 4.30. Cool. So this is your three strikes, so you need to figure out a way to get out of here. He's grabbing my phone. The police then took her back to the room to get her belongings and escort her out. Listen, stuff, do you care about any of this? Because once we leave, it's gone. Amidst emotional exchanges and demands, 
including a phone call with her stepdad. Who are you talking to? My, my stepdad just called me. No, hang up. You Speaker phone. Home. The officers laid out the choices ahead. Go home peacefully or face consequences that could include jail time. You have two options. What do you want to do? I want to go home. Do you want to go to jail or do you want to go down to Akron and sleep off your sobriety? What do you want to do? Go home. What did I just say? What do you want to do? I, I paid for a room. So you want to go to jail? Where's the scene was a mix of urgency and emotional turmoil, punctuated by the suspect's assertions and the officer's firm directives. Who knew a lighter could cause this much trouble? It sounds like this Karen's priorities were quite clear even after being arrested. First, a cigarette. I have one more person to call. No, nope. it's Come over. On. Come Listen, work, stop. Just work. I you, have one more person. No, stop. Home. You gotta, you gotta work with us right, at this point. Please. We've gotten so far. Please. Put, listen to me. Put your pack in here. Smoke that. Go over there. You're not gonna blow that in my car. Go over there. You're not gonna blow that in my car. Even a toddler knows no means no. Her begging repeatedly is so obnoxious. It's no wonder her parents don't want her home. The officers were so patient that they gave her one last chance. I agree. Get up. I'll work with you. Get up. Thank you. I'll work with you. Please. You go to this place, you just get booked in, and then you tell them that you can call that person can, to get you out I of there. Can I get a ride? You can get a ride out of there. Once you get up there, call that person. Can I please? Karen repeatedly begged for one more chance to make a call, insisting she wasn't a felon and could care for herself. Despite her pleas, the officers firmly denied her requests, emphasizing she needed to go to a care facility to sober up. They eventually persuaded her to smoke her cigarette and comply with their instructions to go with them. Finally, she still ended up in handcuffs. <laughs> oh, we tried. Please. No, oh, no, you're done. Don't do this to me. I didn't do anything wrong. After contentious disputes over two consecutive nights, the police charged her with disorderly conduct stemming from intoxication. She was then transported to the local jail. All right, fellas, what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and educational contents in the future. Thanks for your support.